Congratulations on buying Pegasus bundle, hope you like it so far. In this video I'll show you how you can customize Pegasus layouts. The video is going to be separated into a few sections. First we are going to see how it's done using section and module settings. Then I'm going to explain what is Pegasus master CSS file and how to use it. In addition I'll show you how to use browser's developer tools. And we are going to see as well how to overcome common customization issues you might encounter. So without any further ado, let's get started. Great DV team feature is the visual builder that you can enable by clicking enable visual builder button. It helps you easily edit the contents and the style of the page without actually leaving it. All you have to do is to hover over an element and then go to that element settings and make the updates. For example, if you would like to change the background image of this section, you can simply hover over it, then go to section settings. Here toggle background option and then simply and easily change the image. Another great thing is updates are done automatically and you can immediately see uh, the changes you have made. So you don't have to save the page, then preview to see how it looks like in reality. Then, for example, if you would like to change this text here, you can simply select it and add your new text. So this really makes the process uh, easy and quick. But let me also show you more in details what all of these Visual Builder options are. First one, when you hover an element, is the option to move the element, to move the module. So you can move it around in other sections, rows and columns. Second option is module settings option uh, that I'm going to show you more in details in a moment. Next one is to duplicate an element. Then there's the option to save the module to the library. So you can save, uh, for example, this particular module into library and load it uh, exactly as it is on some other page or even a website. And there's a delete button to delete the module. Now let's go to settings and see what we have here. First what you can notice is that settings appear in a new window but you can still see the page behind and there's this drag option so you can uh, resize the settings and the page. This is good because as already said as you, made your as you make your changes you can automatically see how it is going to look like on the actual page. Let's demonstrate it again. I'm just going to type another text and as you can see it automatically appears on the page. So in here in settings you have three main tabs, main, main three sections, content, design and advanced. In content tab obviously you can edit the content. In this particular example, in this text module, you can change the title text, button text if you have a button, content text, also you can hyperlink the module, you can assign a background to it and also you can add admin label. This is basically uh, the module name that only admins can see. Then there's design tab. Here you can edit how this particular module looks like. For example, if you would like to change the color of this text here, to change the title text you can simply toggle title text options and change the title text color. There are also some other options like text alignment uh, and other options you might use like font size, uh, letter spacing and anything else that you might need. Exactly the same is if you would like to change the color or anything else about the paragraph text below, simply toggle the body text and change the settings as per your needs. Let's change this uh, to blue as well. So <clears throat> that's basically it. There are a lot of other options in design tab. Uh, please have a check and see what each of these options do. I'm now giving you some general overview and it will take too much time to go through each of these but uh, be free to explore and find out what each of these does. That leaves us with the advanced tab. Here you can assign an element, ID or a class name. 
Most frequently used is custom CSS section where you can find some additional style that couldn't have been done using design settings. And also you can add your own style here as well. There are some other options like attributes and visibility if you would like to hide or uh, show particular sections depending on the screen resolutions or device. And that's it, now let me show you how you can use master CSS file. Majority of page layout design is uh, done using settings. However, sometimes when there is no uh, adequate option, then we have to use CSS. And when you want to make an update and you can't find that in settings, then you want to go and, and check the master CSS file. We can open master CSS file if you go to settings and then Pegasus assistant. Here you'll see open master CSS file button. Click that and all the CSS will open in a new window. Copy everything and paste it in your text editor. I'm using Notepad++ as my text editor. It's really great and free uh, software you can use. And when you open this document, this CSS, first thing you're going to notice is uh, it's really well commented. All these texts in green are the comments that uh, helps you find what you're looking for more easily. In this example here, uh, I have loaded services page layout. So if I would like to make some changes in the CSS in the services page, I'm going to be looking for services comment. And here on the line 6 I can see the services comment so I know that all CSS under this comment relates to this page. And let's see what we have for the services page. It is uh, obviously only 3 uh, blocks of CSS relating to button. So make sure to read the CSS and you can easily figure out what it's about. And here as you can see it has the class names for button so I know that uh, this CSS, for example, is going to edit the button on the page. I can see here that it says Pegasus pricing table and button. So if I go to the page, I can see this pricing table and that CSS relates to this button here. Let's uh, change some settings here and test. For example, let's instead of black background, um, let's make it blue. And also we are going to make the borders blue as well, color can uh, remain white. When you make your updates uh, you need to copy only the block of CSS where you have made your changes. So you shouldn't copy everything, you just need to copy the block of CSS, uh, the one that you have edited. Then go back to the page and uh, you can use Visual Builder again or you can use the classical way, you can go to edit page and you need to go to page settings and inside the custom CSS box paste the CSS uh, that you have just copied then update the page. Now let's preview and see uh, what I did. And as you can see the active uh, button color is now blue instead of the black. So that's basically how master CSS works. Make sure to read the comments so you can easily find what you're looking for uh, then simply change the CSS you need, copy only that particular block of CSS and paste it back onto your page. And that's it. If you don't know where to change something exactly or you don't know how to change that exactly, there's a great tool on your browser called Developer Tools. All you need to do to fire the Developer Tools is to press F12 on your keyboard and something like this will pop up. Uh, I'm using Firefox, uh, it's pretty much the same on Chrome and on other major browsers. And there are a lot of options here, but I'm going to uh, focus only on one, and that's the first one here, like the arrow icon. It's called Inspect Element. Similar as in the Visual Builder, uh, you can hover over an element and click it. And once you do that, all the relevant style information about that element you just clicked will pop up here on your right. On your left you can see HTML and on your right uh, CSS. 
and you can also change uh, the values of the CSS he here. For example, uh, this text has font weight of 400, let's make it 900. And as you can see, it immediately changes on the screen as well. However, uh, it's not like that these changes are going to be saved as in the Visual Builder automatically because you can open developer tools on any website in the world and it will be pointless if you could just uh, make some changes and save that on the website. So after you make your changes you can copy the CSFs if you like and paste it uh, on your page as you could see earlier. However there's something uh, else I would like to uh, use for the developer tools and that's discovering uh, where you can edit something. Uh, let me give you an example to see what I mean. What if you, if you have been checking the settings but you couldn't find the option you need, you check the advanced tab and custom CSS, uh, then you've been checking the master CSS file and you really couldn't find uh, what you need. If you open developer tools and click the image, uh, all the relevant uh, style information will pop up here as already said. However, uh, interesting to you is also this blue link here. And in this case it says Pegasus blurb CSS file. So it tells you the exact file name where style for this module is written. And also it tells you uh, the line in that file. So in this case it's 352. So if you go to Bl uh, Pegasus blurb CSS file and if you scroll to this uh, line you are going to find these options or this CSS that you can see right right now. And that's how you discover where is something uh, in the CSS. And that is how you figure out uh, where is something that you can't find to update it. However, sometimes when you click an element, for example, let me click this text here, uh, it says inline and it doesn't tell you the uh, file name. That's because when it says inline, it means that all this CSS that shows, it's somewhere in the settings. So it's not in some external CSS file, uh, it's in the this module settings. So if you would like to change any of the CSS that appears here, uh, you can go to element settings as we seen earlier and change it from there. Sometimes when you make style updates to your page, they are not shown on the actual page. And the reason for this may be the caching memory enabled on your website. To make sure that this isn't the case, go to DV theme options. Scroll down and make sure to disable, minify and combine CSS files. Another thing to do is to go to Builder tab and make sure to disable static CSS file generation. Also if you have any caching plugins please disable them while developing the website. You can switch it back on after you're done uh, with website building. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something new and I hope that you like Pegasus Bundle and thanks for watching.